Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video looking at landforms of deposition, specifically spits. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, Coastal Landscapes. Deposition has led to the formation of distinctive coastal features. We call these depositional landforms. A spit is a long, narrow beach made from sand or shingle that is joined to the mainland but stretches out to sea. Spits form either at the mouth of an estuary or where the coast has suddenly changed direction. So how does a spit form? Spits are formed by longshore drift carrying sediment along a coastline. The swash runs up the beach at an angle to the shore from the same direction as a prevailing wind. However, the backwash returns at right angles to the coastline due to gravity, meaning that material is carried along the coast in a zigzag fashion. Spits form when there is a change in the shape of the coastline. Waves can't change direction here, so they continue to carry the sediment and deposit it in the same direction as the original coastline. And as a result, a spit starts to form. A spit will continue to grow until the water becomes too deep because there is less friction to slow the waves down, making them lose energy. Or they will stop if material is being removed faster than it is being deposited. At the end of a spit, the pebbles will become smaller and rounded because of attrition taking place. They are also smaller because the longshore drift becomes weaker with distance from the original coastline, so it can only carry small material. The end of the spit will also have a recurved hooked end. This is because the dominant wind direction has changed, blowing material back towards the coast slightly. There may also be old recurves further down the spit that mark the former end of the spit. Behind the spit, a salt marsh will develop in the sheltered shallow water. These are areas of high biodiversity and are often classed as nature reserves or sites of special scientific interest, also known as triple SIs. So what is a bar and how does it form? Sometimes longshore drift causes a ridge of sand or shingle to grow across a bay, trapping water behind it as a lagoon. This is called a bar, which is also known as a barrier beach. One of the most famous in the UK is Slapton Lay, which is pictured on the screen. This is known as a bay bar and is visible at all times, unlike submerged bars and offshore barrier islands. Submerged bars lie a little offshore, forming in shallow water where there is plenty of sediment on a beach, where the sediment has been transported off and then back onto the beach. The offshore bar is formed when destructive waves remove the sediment. You often see waves breaking some distance from the coast due to friction caused by offshore bars. Submerged bars are so named as they are only visible during low tide. At high tide, the bar is submerged and can only be identified by the waves breaking on it. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on landforms of deposition, specifically spits. Thank you for watching.